Sports, James Sabolski, along with Ray Ferraro, who's down at ice level. This should be a fun one here this evening. He's the man between the two benches, Ray Ferraro. Any sort of thoughts before we drop the puck on this? Well, talking to both coaches, they both kind of oddly stressed that they wanted to be really aggressive in the game. The problem with being aggressive is you can pull yourself out of position or you take penalties and really hurt yourself. The officials made his way to center ice, and we are ready to get things underway. Oh, I've been waiting for this all day, and we are now officially underway. They fight for it along the boards. Gains control of the puck here at the blue line. Can't keep a hold of it. Across the line from center. Raleigh's got it in the neutral zone. Atlanta's got the puck. And it's kicked away. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Atlantis moving it up the ice. Quick pass to Ali. The Raiders have it from their own end. Strong defensive effort. Atlantis on the attack. Right in the slot. Makes the glove stop. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still no score in this one. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. The Jets have it against the wall. Couldn't connect on that pass. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Moves it quickly over to Aginla. Off a stick. Atlanta's got the puck behind the net. Quick feed to Kea. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Raleigh's got the puck along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. Raleigh's got the puck in their own end. And now he angles it across to Aginla. Scott's got it in the defensive zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Maintains possession. And they fail to go take to tape. Atlantis got a hold of it along the wall. Brian's taking it from his own end. Tries to get the puck to Paul. Sends the pass over. Puts it high. Yeah, it sounds great. Hit the net, though. You got a better chance to score. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Here's a blast. Oh, I think he wants that one back. Didn't miss it by much. He gets lots on it, beats the goaltender, but just wide. Puck scooped up by Villanueva. Moves it to Paul. Raleigh's got a hold of the puck. The Jets get a hold of it. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. And he slides it quickly to Bo. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. And we'll get a face-off at the other end of the ice. Now, I like the rule they put in a few years ago, James, where the defensive team can't change. Uh, to me, that makes a big difference as to what was a pretty boring play before. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Small play, but a key play. Now you've got possession in the offensive zone. Atlanta's got the puck along the wall. And now he moves it quickly to Silva. Takes a shot, and that one stopped. The Raiders get a hold of the puck along the boards. Pass back to the point. Snaps one from the slot and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Hit the net. No chance to score. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Penalty coming up as the whistle stops the play. Taylor's stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. Rarely is a slashing penalty considered a good penalty to take. Atlanta's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Everybody's having trouble getting on the board tonight, but here's a power play, the first of the game for them. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. They clear the zone. Atlanta's gained possession along the boards. Quick pass across to Bo. Look out, a two-on-one. Here's a chance. Big save.
here in the late goings of the period. Still looking for our first goal. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. The Jets looking against the half wall. Puts the puck on net and makes the save. From the back of the cage with the puck. There's another stop. Scott's name on this list is of no surprise. Always a very aggressive player. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. The Jets win it. Taken by Silva. Stopped by the goaltender. That's a great heads-up play to break up the pass. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Atlanta's got a hold of it against the wall. Through center. Pokes it away in his own end. And now it's to Scott. Atlanta's got it across the line. The Jets take possession here in the open ice. And time expires on the power play. Both teams back to even. There's the whistle. Penalty coming up. The good old-fashioned hook is sending him off to the box. He's almost in the right position, but he's got to give him a little hook. When he gives that tug, he goes to the penalty box. It gets called every time. Atlanta's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. At practice, they were working on a cross-crease one-timer. Quick movement side to side. The Raiders get a hold of the puck in their own end. And a successful clearing attempt. Comes out to play the puck. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Puck picked up in the open ice. With possession along the wall. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Slides it to Nash. Battling for it along the boards. Jabs the puck away. Here's a chance to get it out. And manages to clear the zone. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. The Raiders gain control of the puck against the wall. They get it out of the defensive end. Dime seconds of this man advantage. They'll try to start it from here. Yeah, get it moving quickly up the ice. Get into the zone. See if you can get puck to the net really quickly. Stays with it. Atlanta's power play expires. Both sides back to even strength here. And we are still tied. Oh, when the puck moves and the feet don't, this is what you get. You have lots of zone time, but no real dangerous chances on that power play. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Knocked away. There's the horn bringing period number one to an end. Still no score in this one. Be sure to attend our Ottawa Light Truck Show next weekend and get a sneak peek at next year's models from the world's top automobile menu. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. Face off for period number two, about set to go. No goals yet through the first 20 minutes. Let's see if this changes here in period number two as we get underway. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? The Jets keep talking on their bench to do the same things. They've had the puck a lot, but they haven't been able to score the game's first goal. 
Good hit on the play. Slides it diagonally to Aginla. Gains the zone on the left wing. Picks up the puck in his own end. Atlantis on the attack. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Aginla's got the puck in his own zone. Handles the pass at center. Raleigh's got the puck in the corner. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. The game is still scoreless. Nice job tying up his opponent. Tremendous read and even greater sacrifice on the block. Atlanta's in now. They've got the defense outnumbered. Grabs the puck in the slot. There's the whistle and a penalty is coming up on this one. Nash is called for tripping. He's off to the box. Funny, coaches always tell you, get your stick on the puck. And then when you try and the guy trips up, they tell you, get your stick out of there. Kind of stop. Raleigh sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Well, there hasn't been much to choose from in the two teams so far. The game is still scoreless, of course. But here's a power play. You've got a chance to change that in the next couple of minutes. Quick pass to Taylor. Sends it out right in front. Denied by the goaltender. Here's a chance to try to get it out of the defensive zone. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Can't connect. Trails lugging the puck. And he slides it quickly to LaPierre. Steps across the blue line. Hangs onto the puck. Manages to hang on. Too much traffic in the lane. Atlanta's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. They move the puck out of harm's way. Picked up along the boards by Taylor. And the power play comes up empty. Both teams back to even strength. Pretty hard to have a more low-intensity power play than that. It really didn't generate a thing, and when you don't generate by... Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. There's the whistle penalty coming up. And tripping looks to be the call, Ray. Really a frustrating penalty to take because you're just fishing for the puck. You get your stick in the wrong spot, the guy goes down, and you're toast every time. Rally's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, the power play gets another opportunity. They haven't been super busy tonight, but here's a chance to get on the board. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. The Raiders scoop it up along the boards. Brian's got it in the defensive end. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Puts it to the front of the net. Denied by the goaltender. Lights the lamp on the power play. One of the guys skated by as they were starting the power play and leaned over and said, we're getting one here. They're on the board. Is that a called shot? I think it is. Not bad. Get to the net. That's where the goals are. The rebound sits there and he puts it away. gone in front what's the approach now ray shouldn't change i mean the game's not going to spread out anyway even though it's a one goal game instead of tied it's not going to all of a sudden be a shootout i wouldn't think and the puck skips out of the zone they'll have to regroup that's a slash on that play and the referee's all over it a spirited battle along the boards for the puck and play finally comes to an end here's the officials the jets are getting penalized for slashing that's a complete overreaction, and he gets burned as he gets called for slashing, and he'll head to the penalty box. The Raiders send their man advantage unit out once more. There's another power play for them, James. They've already scored on the power play tonight, so they must have some pretty good 
feel for it. They also have to be aware the penalty killers will adjust. They will have to, too. Puck slid down the ice. Raleigh's got a hold of it along the wall. And the puck's not loose. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Strong defensive effort. Here's a short pass to Ben. Handles the puck. Denies him! Keen's right on top of that chance. Great A spot. Great A save. If you're going to make the save as the goalie does here, you've got to read the play and have the reflexes to execute the save. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. Rallies ahead, 1-0. Treos won the draw here in the offensive zone. Passes right to the front. He scores! Add that power play goal to the earlier one. They've really done well with the extra man here. It's really good work offensively as they grind away till that opening shows up. And that's the one-timer from the low slot. Raleigh's got an insurance marker here. They now lead by two in the second. Don't back off, though. Keep pushing ahead. Play the game in the offensive half of the ice. Puck grab by Kea. Gains the zone through center. Moves it quickly over to Olver. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Steps into the offensive end. And now it's grabbed by Taylor. And that goes off a player. Raleigh's ready to go on the attack. The Jets have it now. They go on the attack from the left side. Sends it over. Move to the middle. Right on the doorstep. Raleigh's got the puck along the wall. Battle along the boards. The Jets have it in the offensive zone. Raleigh's got control of the puck. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Picked up along the wall by Villanueva. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Raleigh's got it along the wall. Atlanta's got the puck along the boards. Trying to get back on the attack now. The Jets will play it in their own end. Couldn't make that one happen. The Raiders take possession of the neutral zone. Pinned up along the boards. Nice pass. Ben stick handling in his own zone. Atlantis gained possession along the boards. Puck picked up by Bryan with the steal. Centering pass. Oh, just wide of the net. Doesn't miss by much. That's a good shot. Just outside of the cage. Rips it from the blue line. And the long-range shot goes off target. The Jets have it in the offensive end. Oh, and he'll be shaking it. Scores! What a way to finish this race. Oh, sorry, James. You give up one that late in the period, it is really difficult to recover. That turned ugly in a hurry. That turnover just can't happen. And when it does, the goalie's not in position to make a save. It beats him up over the gloves. Atlanta's got a chance to change the complexion of this game now with that one. Yeah, get one now. They're within one. Don't take a step back. Push forward. Look for the equalizer. Takes a shot. Nothing. Both teams have gotten on the board, and this one has been pretty much a dogfight through the first 40 minutes as the period comes to an end. Now's your chance to play clean. Join us at our arena and the first sports and entertainment facility in the entire country to use 100% renewable energy. Drop your plastic cotton bottles and clean paper products in the play clean. Third period just around the corner. Ray and I will be ready to bring all the action in moments. In a campaign to save energy and keep our city clean.
minutes in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams, and we're ready to go. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? The Jets will continually grind away looking for that tying goal. They have really had the puck a lot and generated a lot of offensive chances. Atlanta's got it in their own zone. Quick feed to Bo. Slides the puck to Ali. Here they are on the attack. And a poke check knocks the puck away. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. And now it's over to Brian. From the left side, takes it at center. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Atlantis looking to break out. And he's ridden off the puck. Here's an offensive chance. Cuts to the paint. An easy glove save made by Keane. Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. Scott used all of his weight to lay this hit along the board. Really solid contact. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. It's 2-1. The Jets win it in the defensive zone. Atlanta's got it against the boards. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Raleigh's got the puck in the defensive end. The Raiders take it along the wing. Excellent stick work on the play. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Receives the pass. Pins him against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Takes the pass and makes the save. Keane's got the puck and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things and he's had an excellent night so far. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance and he turns it aside. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, we've got a 2-1 game. Puck has dropped, and we are back underway. Feeds it on over to Nash. Here's an odd man rush to his teammate, and that one's broken up. Great block there. Misses. No, he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. You put this kind of pressure on, eventually they can't chase you anymore. Now he's got room to carry the puck. Taken along the wall by Paul. Raleigh's got the puck at center. Moves it around along the half wall. From the slot! And will play on as that goes off the outside of the post. The Raiders' lead in the game doesn't get stretched. It's a scoring chance, a good one too, James, but it hits the post and stays out. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Gives him a tap with a stick, and the referees don't like it. There's the whistle, and the official set to give the call. Slashing the call here on this one. Now he got his two minutes worth there, James, as he's fishing away and all of a sudden he takes the stick back and whacks him pretty good. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. Well, you're always looking for scoring chances. You're not going to get anything better than this. A power play trailing by one. Chance to even the score up here on the power play. Nice defensive robbery on that. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Looking to break out here on the power play. Moves it to Ali. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Atlantis playing it from the side. Stopped by the goaltender. On the attack along the boards. Moves the puck. And that's blocked. Comes up with the stop. Owen's been whacked on the play. Scores! Well, they were going to get a power play. You don't get one now. That goal will nullify the penalty. The power play takes advantage of that extra man nicely. They move the puck around and set up a shot. But then they have traffic in front of the net, making the goaltender really work to see it. Atlanta's heart on full display here in the later stages of this third period with that big goal. 
never back down, kept pushing, finally even this game up. Now, hopefully, can find the winner. Good use of the body on the play. Right on the doorstep, quick shot, stopped by the goaltender. Cutting to the slot, oh, wide of the net. Just misses the net, but really, the scoring chance is not dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. Rallies, penalty killers get a hold of it, and the puck leaves the zone. Atlantis got a hold of it against the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. Big play inside the defensive zone. In close. Stopped by the goaltender. And now he moves it to Scott. Puts it on net wide. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Shot. Makes the save. The Raiders get a hold of the puck under man. And they manage to clear it. The Raiders get back to even strength after a huge effort by their penalty killers. Obviously a pretty important time in the game. The PK does a good job, keeps this game tied. The Raiders will play it from the defensive zone. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Here's a chance right in the slot, puts it high. He's going for the top bin, he just misses it up top. Feeds the puck over to LaPierre. Raleigh's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Takes the feed. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Michael's going to cover it up. He's been busy tonight, Ray. And been good. A lot of times you get busy and worn down. I think that's why you jump on it, freeze it in a close game. Late goings of this period. We are all tied up in this one. Raleigh's got it in the defensive zone. Taylor's taking it from his own end. Slides the puck over. Under a minute to go in the third. Scores! He buries it! The game is leveled to this point. You get a chance, you finish it off. Now you can play from in front. Huh. Better to be lucky than good. This thing bounces around and somehow evades the goaltender. I don't even really know how that ended up in the net. The Raiders are up by one here in the third. This is not the time for prevent, though, is it? It's way too early for that. Get after it. Forecheck. Press the play. That's the way you defend. Puck scooped up by Taylor. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Nice poke check. Scott scooped up the puck now here inside his own zone. It's a two-on-one. Oh, you can't miss that. Now, somehow I got 408, James. You don't get any if you don't hit the net. Get it on target, man. Taken by Taylor. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Atlantis got the puck. Quick pass to Nash. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. And now it's grabbed by Nash. Atlantis got it along the wall. Nash has got it in the offensive zone. Pokes it away in his own end. Here's a short pass to Kea. Let's it fly. Scores! We're tied! We're tied! We're tied here late in the game! What a shocking, shocking goal to go in so late in the game. This looked like it was under control. They really executed this perfectly. The goalie got out of the net quickly. The attacker joins the play, and shortly after, it's in the net. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession, so key in today's game. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. Slides it on over to Ben. There's the horn to end period number three. Still deadlocked here. That means overtime is coming up. During the game, please remember to be alert at all times in our seating area. Even with the game safety measures, there are moments when a puck can be propelled into the spectating area with enough force to cause injury. So please stay alert at all times when the game is in play. Overtime is just moments away. It's happening next.
He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. We've got our overtime picks in. Have you got yours? Because they're ready to drop the puck. Overtime has begun. Ray, I know you love these moments. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Raleigh's moving it along the wing. Scrum ensues along the boards. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Scott's got it now deep inside his own end. And it's a quick pass to Bo. And we've got a two-on-one for the win. Oh, we are still tied. What a stop. Michael's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Alford's offensive game is varied. He can score, he can pass, he creates for others, but he doesn't need much time to deliver his shot. He's among the league leaders in points because of that. Vos won the draw. Tees it up from the blue line. Denies him with a save. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. And as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. From center, they get into the attacking area. Here's a chance. Stones him with the blocker. Olvers played so well in this point streak, you know he wants to pile on it. A critical draw here. Alas wins the draw on their own end. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Atlantis got the puck inside the defensive zone. Now a quick pass to Olver. Bang on passes center in the neutral zone. Yager's got it into offensive territory. Raleigh's got the puck against the half wall. Move to the middle. Shot tipped in front. Looking to end it. Oh, what a save to keep it tied. A big face off here inside the offensive end. Raleigh's won the draw and they'll go to work. Puts it towards the net. Overshot it. Sometimes the only place you have is up over the goalie's shoulder. Sometimes you airmail it. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Atlantis won the draw. Battling for it along the boards. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to LaPierre. Raleigh's going to play it from the corner. Gets in front of it. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. They take possession as he locks them up off the face-off. Atlantis moving it into the offensive end. And now he tries to get it across to Ben. And tries to make a diagonal pass to LaPierre. Jabs the puck away. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Takes the feed. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Raleigh's got a hold of it along the wall. Grabbed along the boards by Ben. And the puck's kicked free. Sends a pass over. Nash is swooping in on the attack. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Wide of the net. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Raleigh's got the puck along the wall. Gains the zone through the middle. Keeps hold of the puck. Taken by Ben. Dismiss that chance. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Jacobs. Atlantis on the attack. Quick feed to Bo. Let's it fly. And that's stopped by the goaltender using his head this time. And loses possession after a solid hit. The Raiders get a hold of the puck along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Taylor. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Trying to get back on the attack now. Looking to make something happen in the offense.
offensive zone. Sends the pass over. And that one's blocked! Taylor's moving the puck through his own zone. Not able to connect. Strong defensive effort. And he regains control of the puck. That opportunity is rejected. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too. So there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Ali's got it in the offensive end. The Raiders look to start the transition game. Handles the puck. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Takes a shot. Comes up with the stop. He scores! There it is! There it is! The overtime winner! Atlantis feeling much better about themselves as they come away with the OT win. Well, they really pushed after it after nothing settled in regulation. They get the winner here in extra time. On behalf of Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us. Good night.